devotional memorial of Saint Maria Loren, a virgin and martyr. At early age, at age 12, she was martyred, defending her chastity and, and purity because a man wanted to sexually assault her and she defended herself and before she died she forgave the man the man who wanted to assault her we ask her intercession in our holy mass as we begin let us all together pray the entrance and the poem from the 14th sunday in ordinary time your merciful love, O oh God, we have received in the midst of your temple. Your praise, O oh God, like your name, reaches the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with saving justice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends in Christ, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to be the contrite of heart. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God. Have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Ghost. 
gospel according to Matthew. Glory be to you, O Lord. While Jesus was speaking, an official came forward, knelt down before him, and said, My daughter has just died, but come, lay your hand on her, and she will live. Jesus rose and followed him, and so did his disciples. A woman suffering hemorrhages for twelve years came up behind him and touched the tassel on his clothes. She said to herself, If only I can touch his cloak, I shall be cured. Jesus turned around and saw her and said, Courage, daughter, your faith has saved you. And from that hour, the woman was cured. When Jesus arrived at the official's house and saw the flute players in the crowd who were making a commotion, he said, Go away. The girl is not dead, but sleeping. And they ridiculed him. When the crowd was put up, he came and took her by the hand, and the little girl arose. And news of this spread throughout all that land. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's uh, Gospel reading from the Gospel of St. Matthew speaks the theme about faith and healing. And nowadays there is already a universal acceptance that the total healing process of a person concerns the healing of body, mind, and spirit. Even science and medicine both recognize the key role of faith and spirituality in the healing process of the person. That's why healing and caring for the sick has always a significant role and concern in our church today. And we have to realize that by the virtue of our baptism, we are given the responsibility to share in the mission of our Lord and to continue the ministry of the church entrusted by God, especially to promote the healing ministry of Jesus that provides caring and well-being to those in need. So in today's Gospel reading, we hear in one of the occasions in which Jesus performs his healing ministry by curing a bleeding woman for 12 years and also restoring the life of a child. So in this particular event, Jesus shows his power and divine authority because no ordinary person could do such thing. And we know that only God and with such divine power could do such miracles. But the lesson and the message of this story is, if we come to, to Him in faith, we always experience healing and well-being. Like the two people in today's Gospel reading, both of them responded with extraordinary faith to Jesus. They expressed their not only faith, but also hope in their crisis and desperate situations. But in most cases, not that God always want what we always want and wish, but most of the times, God grants what is best for us and He wills what is good for every one of us. Because Sometimes most people ask why there are people we know who are really devoted and exceptional in faith, but they still. 
still not given that physical healing. Or in other words, you always ask, why such bad things happen to good people? And we know that sometimes it's not that easy to answer. But the words of St. Paul would always give us this consolation and probably relate in his words when St. Paul says, No one knows what pertains to God except the Spirit of God. But if the Spirit of God dwells within us, we can look at the world and life with the eyes of faith. As what happened to the two people who approached Jesus. With the eyes of faith that when they approached Jesus, they received the healing grace that they needed most. But dear friends in Christ, it is also a way for us that sometimes we experience desperate situation. We also experience times that we need God in our life, especially in those circumstances that we experience hopeless situation. But we have to witness the faith in action that is what we call charity and conditional love shared for the sake of others, as what these two people in today's gospel reading did. Because we know that God is so faithful to His promise from the beginning. As what we have heard in today's first reading from the book of Prophet Hosea, when God reminded them by saying, I will espouse you to me forever. I will espouse you in right and in justice, in love and in mercy. I will espouse you in fidelity, and you shall know the Lord. If we have only that faith that we could always profess in God, we know that God is always there for us. The only thing is we have to open ourselves, and we must be ready also to accept God's will in our life. Because in doing so, that we become worthy to enter in God's presence now and forever. Amen. God never intended us to die. Christ, our Redeemer, restores us to life. And we come to our Father, bringing all our petitions and prayers. For our church leaders, may the Holy Spirit guide their work and give them the strength to govern wisely. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. For nations throughout the world, may the Lord deliver them from the evils of war and oppression. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For families torn by division, may God grant them the spirit of reconciliation and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For all those gathered in this holy place, may the word and sacrament we receive nourish and sustain us. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For those who have died, may they rest in God's embrace. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For Roxanne Sadler, for whose mass is being offered, and for all those intentions we hold within the silence of our hearts.
Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ, to humble himself, to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual bread. Blessed be God for Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice of yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the grace and glory of your name, for our good and the Lord of the Holy Church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the light of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. To the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as to your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you form it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we do extol you with all the angels and saints, as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son of God, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son of Christ. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. May holy therefore this gift we pray. By setting down your spirit upon them, like the Jew for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which should be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, 
We proclaim your death and reward until you come. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope and William our Bishop, his assistant bishops in all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Glorious Martyrs, and all the saints, most especially Saint Maria Gur Saint Maria Gorotti, who have pleased you throughout the ages, you may merit and be forced to eternal life to be praised and glorified through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day of our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us to Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but at the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity and accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Peace be with all those you are alive. Lamb of God, we take away the sin of the world. Lamb of God, we take away the sin of the world. Have mercy. Lamb of God, we take away the sin of the world. Have mercy. Lamb of God, we take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, and the Lord of the May the body and the blood of Christ be a sin to the
the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Bless the man who seeks refuge in him. Let us pray. Grant we pray, O Lord, having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. You have a blessed week. You too, Father. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty and loving God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth in peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.